Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. Of course, a lot of things has been happening as regards to the 2023 presidential election coming up in 2023 February. Now it has just been reported that Doni Okope, as we all know, is a campaign DG for the Labour Party. Now he has resigned as the campaign DG for Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi is no longer, you know, in support or he is no longer campaigning for Peter Obi. You know, a lot of people might be wondering why has Doyin chosen to back out in this campaign, you know, processes. Well, we would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news to see what is actually happening, what is playing out in this situation. According to what has been said, the Director General of the Obidati Campaign Organization, Doi Okope, has stepped down from the position. He made this known in a terrorist letter addressed to Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, on Tuesday. Dear Peter, you will recall that I briefed you yesterday about my personal travels in seeking justice and clearing my name using the Nigerian legal system to pursue same. I have invested too much in your campaign to allow my personal travels to become a source of distraction. In the circumstances, I have opted to step aside and plead that you appoint a new campaign DG who can continue the assignment with zero distractions. God bless you and family, he said in the letter. A federal high court in Abuja on Monday jailed Okope for two years with an option of fine. He was jailed for money laundering offenses. Doyin was also a senior special resistant SSA on media to former president Good Lord Jonathan. Delivering the judgment on Monday, the judge Ijoma Ojuku held that Mr. Akupe was guilty of contravening section 16, subsection 1 and 2 of the Money Laundering Act for receiving cash payment without going through a bank. In essence, of the threshold statutory allowed. A pupa was found guilty on a total of 26 counts from counts 34 to 59 of the charges. The judge sentenced him to two years in prison on count 34 with an option of a fine of 500,000 naira. The court also sentenced him to two years imprisonment on counts 35 to 59 with an option of a fine of 500,000. The option of fine is to run consecutively on each count while the sentence is to run concurrently. The judge refrained from making any custodial order but said the convict is the property of the state. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this that has been said? Just like what I've said earlier, that a lot of things is happening as we get to the 2023 presidential election, and now it is about the Labour Party. The Director General of Campaign for the Labour Party, you know, presidential candidates, Peter B has just backed out. Doi Okope has stepped down because of distraction, he said, according to what we've heard. I have invested so much in your campaign that I will now allow distraction to take over everything. I'd rather step down in a letter sent to Peter Obi. What is your take to this? The Federal High Court in Abuja on Monday jailed him for two years with an option of a fine. He was jailed for money laundering. What is your take to this? This that has happened has caused a lot of people, you know, to start reacting and 
we would like you to see tight as we go into the full you know reaction of people and see what people have to say concerning this do you think doing should have stepped down or despite the fact that he was sentenced he could still you know remain as the you know G dg of the labor party presidential campaign or, you know presidential candidate pardon on campaign who would like you to let us know your own take on this according to what has been said it was reacted to by guests saying that i think doing have done the best thing by stepping down at least this will aid the presidential candidate of the labor party to be able to focus on his presidential ambition without distraction and later probably after victory can later attend to this issue that is our reaction from you know guests saying that i think is the best thing to do to just step down and if peter b probably wins the presidential election come 2023 something probably might be done and that reaction from aminu saying a petitive says he wants to change naira and end up in jail one down we have 199.999 millions to go and that reaction from aminu saying that all these people are all thieves they said they want to change naira and now they are ending up in jail at least doing has been arrested he has been sentenced one is down and we have millions left to go what is your take to this a lot of people have been reacting as regard to this new naira note the redesigned naira notes it has caused a lot of controversies among nigerians some people says it is not pleasant to the eyes some people says it looks like a fake naira note and a lot of people are even scared of spending this you know naira notes because a lot of people believed the fake will be more rampart than even the original as we all know even with the former one we see fake ones not to talk of this one that looks like fake that is what a lot of people are saying and so people are even saying that even if you spend this money to me i won't collect it this has caused a lot of things in nigeria and we just hope that in no time we'll get out of this and we'll have a better nigeria of which we have been longing for the judgment given to the ex-convict was just a slap to his wrist because he was given an option of ordinary 500,000. we know they give this kind of people easy pay that money is not their problem the money they stole from the government you are now asking them to pay little Another reaction from Father saying that this judgment is just like a slap to the wrist of Doni Okupe because he was given another option of ordinary 500,000 naira fine. What is your take to this? A lot of people believe that Doni should be, you know, should be like, or probably should have been arrested, pardon, a long time before now. And now that he has finally been arrested, he was given another option of 500,000 naira fine, of which is not supposed to be. Different reactions from different people. We would like you to let us know your own take on this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.